With Omicron shattering infection records set during the peak of Delta at airports nationwide, a Christmas curveball. United Airlines preemptively canceling more than 250 flights through the weekend after Omicron sidelined flight crews. Delta canceling nearly 400 this weekend, blaming both COVID callouts and weather. That's why it's good to have plan B, C, D, E, F. You know, if I'm not able to get in, into a Delta, I'll go in JetBlue. Days ago, Delta CEO called on the CDC to cut quarantine time in half for vaccinated employees from 10 days to five. It's a move supported by the airline's trade group in an effort to stem even more flight disruptions. The CDC has shortened quarantine time for vaccinated health care workers who aren't symptomatic from 10 days to seven as a staff shortage crisis deepens. A move National Nurses United calls dangerous. It will only further exacerbate this shortage if we bring people back too soon where they can further expose people to the virus. The problem from travel to health care is the variant is depleting healthy workforces. This is not a theoretical risk anymore, you know, or, or, or a far out concept. This is a, a, a potential reality. Florida today recording a record 32,800 cases as testing lines blanket this park spilling into streets. On the same site, there's vaccinations offered in this parking lot. And as you can see, it's empty five minutes in and out, which is part of the problem. The unwillingness of millions to get the shot leading frontline workers to witness harrowing last regrets. When someone is dying in front of your face and you see in their eyes the guilt, um, you know, what if, what if I would have gotten the vaccine? That is what we see and that's what's hard to deal with. And Sam joins us. Sam, we're also learning about an outbreak on a Navy combat ship. What can you tell us about that? Kristen, that's right. The outbreak is on the USS Milwaukee, which remains in port at Guantanamo Bay tonight after a regularly scheduled port visit. The Navy right now not specifying how many sailors were infected, just that all crew members were vaccinated. They are working right now, Kristen, to determine the variants. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.